This is Kenny with Valley Center Gun Safety and I'm going to do a quick video on how to clean your 1022 in the field and how to clean your 1022 back at home base when you get out of the field. The first segment I'm going to cover things you need which is a very basic, in my opinion, uh, set of tools and equipment that you need to clean your weapon in the field. Starting from left to right and I'll cover the pros and cons of a couple of these items. You have your bore snake in 22 caliber, which works really well in the field, but it has its drawbacks as well. You have a toothbrush, which I'll show you how to use later. Your standard GI M16 cleaning kit, along with your bore snake. These are absolutely musts have. Don't rely on one or the other. I carry in my backpack a spare bolt, complete bolt, bore brush, a bore mop, which these are just great. They're lifesavers. Uh, once you start using bore mops, you'll never go back to patches again. Your ubiquitous Leatherman Wave. A medicine bottle with spare earplugs in it, with two holes punched on top with some nylon rope going through it. And the same thing, you want an oiler bottle just a plain old medicine bottle and some oil in it. and you put the oil bottle inside the medicine bottle and all that could be clipped to a carabiner that could hang outside your backpack so you always want oil lube is love and then you have your M16 cleaning rod and your Ruger 1022 and a side note <coughs> excuse me the other night, I had my rifle leaning up against the counter, and one of the cats jumped, hit it, knocked it down, and the rifle fell on the concrete perfectly on the on the scope I had, the Mueller optic, red dot optic, and it shattered the optic. Freak accident, one in a million shot, but it ruined a $150 optic. So that's why the optic's not on there. That's why you want backup iron sights. Okay, now to the good stuff. How to clean your 1022 in the field. Cleaning your rifle after the field. I've already fired about 200 rounds of federal bulk pack, 36 grain, copper plated hollow points out of the rifle. It's not dirty dirty, but it's a little dirty. So I'm going to cover the pros and cons versus using versus the uh, boar snake and the rod. Alright, so the weapons are loaded, magazines out. Both locked back to the rear. All right. <clears throat> so ideally, the boar snake is your best bet in the field, especially if you have a tactical stock, because one, it fits right in there. So you'll always have a cleaning kit to clean your rifle with. So it's really convenient, really nice. Now, the downside of the boar snake: when your rifle gets really, really dirty, the boar snake won't penetrate, won't go through the barrel. This little teeny little weight isn't enough to go all the way down the barrel. It just won't do it if your rifle gets really dirty in the shades of fan situation or whatever, you know, like in the world. Um, so it won't do it. So you're fucked, pardon my French, if you don't have an M16, M16 cleaning rod, you're screwed. Because this isn't going to go through your barrel and you're not going to be able to clean your barrel. That's why you need both. That's why you want your GI M16 cleaning kit. They're like eight bucks. <clears throat> so ideally what you want to do, get your boar snake <clears throat> and I know you guys are probably freaking out. I just put my barrel on the ground, but my guns are tools. They're not, you know, princesses. I use them a lot and they get dirty and they get used a lot. So. You drop the, the weighted side into the barrel, and just, of course I just pulled it back out. Just drop it in like that, let it slide down, and I can already feel a little, like resistance going in there. That's only 200 rounds. I can feel a copper plated ammo. That's not leaded ammo, which really gums up the barrel fast. So you can kind of dangle it, and it'll drop through.
and you see it comes out the other end and so you you put oil on it so you get it you can either oil it prior or before but you want to take your oiler put some oil on that so it oils and cleans as it goes through and you just pull it like that. Sorry, came off camera. Let me just pull it through. There's little fibrous brushes on here that scrub the bore as it goes through and the rest of it is just the mop. It cleans everything and pulls everything out. So it's a really good way to do it. The downside is <clears throat> there's only two right here and right here little areas of copper brushes. So very quickly they get damaged and they get squished and they don't do quite an effective job of cleaning the bore. <clears throat> so that's the bore snake way to clean your rifle. And then, like I said, when it gets really dirty, and you can't use the bore snake because the barrel's just, you know, too gummed up. You fired several thousand rounds, you know, whether you're just shooting rabbits or shooting targets or whatever, the bore snake ain't, ain't going to do it. So you use your rod and clean it. All right, <clears throat> continuing cleaning our rifle. So you have your toothbrush with a little piece of a hole drilled in it and a little piece of string so you can attach it to your backpack or whatever so you always have a cleaning brush in the field along with your oiler and your porous make and your M16 cleaning gear. <clears throat> so basically, you take your toothbrush and you just want to Go in there like that and kind of just flick out all the debris off the surface of the barrel, the barrel face, or the breech or whatever you want to call it. And the same thing, you brush everything towards the barrel, not towards the bolt. You go towards the barrel and you know kind of have all the debris go in this little corner right there, right in there and you just flick it out. Okay, paying special attention to where the extractor cut is on the barrel. You want to clean that too. And you kind of use a side to side motion with your toothbrush to clean that. Then you take your rifle, take your brush again, and you clean, if you like that, you clean the bolt face. Alright, really easy. And after you do that, the last thing you want to do is clean all the crap off the top of the rifle receiver. That gets really gummed up there a lot and it'll slide, it'll slow down the bolt. So you take your brush, stick it in to the ejection side, ejection side and you just kind of go like that, flick it, and again flick it out. That's a basic super simple field clean. Punch the bore, the bore snake. If you if it can, if it goes through. If it doesn't, use your M16 cleaning rod. Lock, the, you know, obviously lock your bolt back. Make sure the weapon's clear. Brush all the debris to the front. Scrape it out. Brush your bolt face. Brush the top. Of the receiver. Flick that out, and that's a super simple field clean. That's good enough to keep the weapon running. And then what you want to do? You want to take your oiler. Close your bolt. Put a drop of oil right there. Turn your rifle upside down <clears throat> and work the oil back into the receiver where the bolt slides against it. The oil will spread enough to this area here. Don't drop oil right onto there. Don't do that. Drop it here in the back. One drop. I like that. Tip it upside down with the oil and then you just got to work it. Okay? That's it. You don't need more than one or two drops on this rifle. Never oil the bolt face either. The face of the bolt with a the rim fire catches, never put oil on that. All right? Only one drop back there, it'll spread to the whole entire bolt, kind of get it working, you're good to go. All right? Now the next thing is detailed cleaning back at base, at your home, or wherever, campsite after you're done shooting. <clears throat>